So as you can see, we are on our property here in Texas and we probably will stay on the property for 2021. We haven't decided whether or not we're going to travel. Um, if we do, it'll be in the fall, you know, maybe early winter, maybe. But as it stands right now, we plan on staying here um, for the year. In the meantime, I am actually trying to gather additional footage um, of projects that we're doing on the property and we'll share those with you. But um, while I'm doing that, I do have some older videos that I need to get out to you. Um, and this is one of them. This one was actually filmed in September of 2019, prior to the pandemic. So you're gonna see people without masks and everything. But we were in Virginia and we had the opportunity to go visit George Washington's birthplace. And this is that video. It was, it was a great visit. It was a beautiful day um, and we had a lot of fun. So um, I hope you enjoy this video and visiting George Washington's birthplace. Good morning. We are on our way out of Lancaster, Pennsylvania, on our way to Virginia. So we'll be staying at Colonial Beach for three weeks actually, um, so that we can take some treks via Metro up to Washington, DC. So we're really excited about that. We actually got a, a bonus sightseeing event yesterday here in, in Pennsylvania. We actually took a, an hour and a half, two hour drive over to Philadelphia and went and saw the Liberty Bell and, and it's all um, in Union Square, that whole, you know, center of our founding fathers. It was kind of cool. It was a beautiful day. It was, um, I want to say it was like maybe mid 70s. Yeah, it was, yeah it was beautiful. It wasn't too hot. It wasn't really crowded. There were a lot of um, a lot of people, but not not what I would have expected um, if we had gone prior to school being back in, which was started in this area last week. So it was really nice. We had a really good time. Um, so like I said, we we're on our way out to Virginia and we'll be staying there for a few weeks. So Ray and I are at Hope's Creek in Virginia, which is the birthplace of George Washington. They have a really nice visitor center here and then you can walk down this path to some historical foundation buildings that are around um, the area and then up in front there's a actual really tall steeple looking monument that they erected so we'll go take a look at that too and then Pope's Creek isn't it doesn't look like a creek it's a lake but it's absolutely it's beautiful here it's a really nice day too So this area outlined in the white path is the birthplace site of George Washington. Probably had a building there at one time. And then what's that building over there? The old memorial house. So that building back there in the bricks is the memorial house. And then the colonial kitchen is the white building. And then the farm workshop is back there. And that over there with the little steeple birdhouse looking thing is the garden, the colonial garden. Yeah, so this must have been an entry and there was an entry. Yeah.
so after the tour, we found out that this is not necessarily the birthplace of George Washington. In fact, they are still looking for exactly where the house resided on the property. Instead, they believe that this might be the enslaved quarters. So that's pretty interesting, even though they still have a plaque. So they're going to be working over the next couple of years to do actually an archeology span scientific dig to figure out exactly where the house was on this property. Um, the house that's behind me is not that house, is not, it's a replica of what they thought their house might have looked like. It was built in 1931-32 to, um, yeah, to memorialize it. So that's why they've got a colonial memorial in front of their names. It's not the actual homes that were on this property. So this was actually really interesting. The ranger here by the name of Bill did an outstanding job with history lesson. I, it was just awesome. It was really good information. Stuff never covered in any No, place. no. So it's a good stop. There's nothing, it's just a, a thing. Well, it's a replica of the Washington Monument in Washington, D.C., right? Yeah. So anyway, this used to be where the house was and they wanted to, Colonial Reservation, um, Replication wanted to build a house a replicated house of George Washington's where this used to be because they thought that that's where the house was and um, so they moved it and they moved it out here and when they moved it underneath this there was no foundation so that is not where the house originally was which like I stated they're still trying to figure that out this is like the second cemetery we visited nope. although this is not a cemetery this is a burial ground. It's a family plot. So the burial ground is different in that a cemetery, this is what we learned in Washington, and uh, not in Washington, in Philadelphia, a cemetery is everybody's buried vertically. So everybody gets a plot of land. Whereas a burial ground, they're stacked. So you buy a plot and you may have, you know, five or six people stacked on top of each other. So the, the family buys a plot, and the first one that dies goes on the bottom and on up. So this is supposed to be a burial ground. 